How's it going, everybody? And welcome to the start of a new Let's Play series. I'm pretty excited about this one. Is This is the first game in the East franchise, one of few, that I have not actually played before. This is East Book 4, fan translated by Aeon Genesis, as it never relieved a stateside release. The Super Nintendo version. A young man's fiery red hair shifted to the soothing sound of the waves. His dark eyes gleamed with the gentle sunlight reflecting off of the roaring surf. This young man was Adal Kristen. He stood alone on White Foon Beach, silently pondering his adventures in hysteria from two years ago. It had all seemingly begun with the machinations of Dark Fact, who was the descendant of one of the six priests of East. This later led to the battle with Darm, a being born of the corruption that festered within the Black Pearl, born with human desires and great power. It all turned around, turning the page on that chapter of his life, and looked ahead to new adventures. Centuries ago, East had been a true utopia, a land at the height of its golden age. But even with the blessing of its twin goddesses and their six priests, the land fell under the looming shadow of the power of the Black Pearl. Had the goddesses, Fina and Lair, had foreknowledge of all that was to transpire? As the doll's thoughts strayed back to the goddesses, so too did his gaze drift back towards the waves. Huh? What's that? The doll found a letter inside the bottle but the language in which it was written was completely unfamiliar. He suddenly thought of Ludagemma, a poet who was also a descendant of an East Priest. Maybe he'll be able to read it, Adal thought aloud. Hmm, it's written in Chalcedian. It says, Chalceda is, is in dire need. Please, if a great hero lives among you, send him to aid us. I guess someone in Chalceda really needs help, replied Adal. Something about this called to Adal's heart, and he decided to answer the summons, making immediate preparations to leave for Kelsetta. And so, Adal's adventures continue ever onward. East Book 4, The Mask of the Sun. This is something I'm really excited to start and really looking forward to sharing this first adventure in a new land of East with you. Asteria, Midday Port. You're not really leaving already, are you, Adol? You haven't even told anyone you're going. Yeah, I got your tech speed up right away. Well, if you're going to go, then, you should probably do it now. If Lilia sees you trying to leave, you'll have a devil of a time getting out of here. What do you think? She's a real beauty of a ship, eh? Too bad it's not actually mine. Well, 
Best of luck to you. Hey, wait just a moment. What? Oh, it's you, Dr. Flair. Aren't you doctors supposed to be more careful or something? You almost gave us a heart attack. Phew, that was close. I'm sorry about that. I was afraid I wouldn't get here in time. I was hoping to come along with you. There's supposed to be a special kind of flower in Calcetta with powerful medicine, medicinal properties. I believe I could develop a powerful panacea from it. Let's get going. Kind of a cool little effect with the sail going down for a Super Nintendo game. And so, a doll and flare ship made the journey across the Dural Sea, finally reaching the port town of Pramalok. That's where a doll sailed from on his way to Asteria. By the way, a doll, I spoke to the sailors aboard the ship. I was told that a group of traveling merchants are around the southern parts of town. I'll see if there's any way we can hitch a ride from them. Let's go ahead and save. And option! Message speed! Locked. It's locked. As I live and breathe, if it isn't a doll! It's me, Norton! Wow, it's good to see you're still in one piece. Whatever happened to top that tower, that light was visible for miles around. Why don't you come with me? Bigson would be glad to see you and we can have a drink. Well, I guess it is a bit early in the day to drink. Still, you should pay Bigson a visit. Run, 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 run. Go on, Adol, talk to Bigson. Ah, Adol, it's good to see you alive and well. Please have a seat. I've got so many questions for you, I don't even know where to begin. I hope you're not planning on leaving again anytime soon. Yep, not not. Not 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 not. And so the three talked for hours. What's that again? Oh, come on, a doll, you're going to Calcetta. You never get tired of putting your life on the line, do you? There have been some strange rumors flying around about that place lately. Norton can attest to that. No kidding. Word is that the Raman Empire's got its set side, side set on it for some reason. Given all the forts they've been building along the nation's borders, I think a little suspicion is valid. Still, I know better than to think that would keep you away. Well, if nothing else, we can at least see you off. Hey, Adol, I've made some travel arrangements for us. This merchant happens to be going to Calcetta. Between your skill with a sword and my skills as a doctor, he'll find the trip much safer if we come with him. Are you ready to go, or do you need to do anything else before we leave? Go make any final preparations if you need to. I'll be waiting here. Don't be too long. Something tells me we'll have the chance to come back, so let's just go. So are we all set? Yep. All right then, let's go. Take care. Don't be such a stranger. Well, 
Well, here we are. First order of business should be to leave our things at the inn. Have you noticed how many soldiers are on patrol? It's a little strange, don't you think? Well, let's go explore the town. We've had a big problem with demons in recent weeks. The Raman soldiers have come here to protect us, they say. I don't like it, though. Feels more like an occupation than protection. Weapons and armor. Huh? I haven't seen you around here before, I don't think. Orders are to arrest and interrogate any and all suspicious people. Really, we talked to a guard and got put in jail. That's wonderful. All right, get in there. Hey there, bro. Guess they tossed you in here to keep me company, huh? The name's Duren. You can say I'm an information vendor. It's no great shock that I'm in here, but you? You must have hit a pitch of bad, some major bad luck. Those soldiers are all on edge anyway. They'll toss you in here if you so much as look at them cross-eyed. Fun for them, not so much for us. Lucky for me, there's always a market for information, even in a rat hole like this. You interested? Sure. Ah, 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 hold up a second. This kind of info doesn't come cheap. How about... 5,000 gold? Ah, just messing with you. I would charge you, but prisoners don't have any money. So I guess I'll give you this little tidbit as a freebie. Get this, once you travel through the pass in the mountains, you'll find a huge forest. Supposedly, it was once some kind of rich and peaceful place. Legend there has it that ages ago, a race of people with wings lived there. Lots of stories of ancient secrets and that sort of thing. Not too sure I believe a word of it myself. It gets better, though. The legends even say the forest of Calcetta hides a castle made of solid gold. Of course, nobody's ever seen it. Oh, come on. You mean you've never heard that story before? Ah, well. To be honest, I don't know too much more beyond that. Sure it would be nice if it were true, though. Can you imagine the kinds of treasure you could find there? That's about all I can tell you. Let's see here. What the? Hey! What was that? Did that wall just move? Hmm, I wonder. Nod, nod. Push. Aha! A secret passage! Well, it looks like this is where I take my leave, so I suggest you do the same, bro. So long. Looks like our worries aren't over yet, bro. What do we do about those guards out there? Rock between them. What? How did you get out of your cell, you swine? Fat lot of good it did you. Get back down there now. Wait! Yes, sir, Captain. At ease, men. I've been told about you by one Dr. Flair, young man. He says that you are a traveler and aren't out to cause trouble. I apologize for any rough treatment my men have inflicted on you. Please allow me to escort you back to your inn. Now's my chance! Sure, the guards don't even notice the other guy sneaking along behind. I feel I should make recompense for the ordeal I've put you through. You are welcome to return to the fort and take whatever you wish from the treasury there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting which I must see to. I owe you one, bro. If not for you, I'd still be stuck in there. Can't stick around, though. Places to go, people to see. Take it easy. He's a little hyper. That could have been a pretty major setback. The official story is that the Raman soldiers are guarding the village to keep the people safe from demons. But it honestly seems more like they're out to quietly conquer Calcetta and make it part of the Empire. Whatever they want to call it, this whole area seems to be on high alert, which strikes me as a little odd. Hmm, pardon me. I think there's more going on here than simple guard duty. Try to be careful. First things first, though. You should get some rest. I know you must be tired from the trip and that mess today. You can always visit the fort's treasury tomorrow. Nod. Bed. I want answers, Gruta. When do you expect we can begin our invasion and claim Calcetta as part of the Raman Empire? You three mages were hired to speed things along, and you're being paid handsomely for the service as well. Where are the results you promised? 
I hope you don't expect us to wait until the townsfolk figure it all out. A thousand pardons, Captain. I humbly request that you bear with the delay a while longer. We have brought many powerful monsters to bear, and all is going according to plan. Their resolve weakens by the day, and soon we shall wipe them out in one fell swoop. Mm, very well. I look forward to seeing the fruits of your labor. If you cannot deliver on your promises, we shall have to... terminate our agreement. Faith and patience, sir. That is all we ask of you. By your leave, I shall return to my work. Gone. What manner of power do these mages employ, I wonder? Yeah, because employing power you're not familiar with always works wonderfully well. Ah, good morning, Adol. You were planning to leave town to find whoever wrote that letter, weren't you? I'll be leaving soon as well. I need to ask around and see if I can get more information about the Kelsetta flower first, though. Best of luck to you as well. Well, I guess first things first, let's find the forge. Oh, here we go. Let's try this door. Ah, that's probably it. Yep. Monies? Rota medicine. That classic East jingle. And herbs. Well, now that we've raided the treasury, let's go buy some gear. Then we'll leave town and do a little combat before wrapping up the first episode. Let's see here. We got a sword. Let's visit the armory next door. Yes, I want a shield. Okay, let's go ahead and equip everything. And let's save. Okay, let's leave town and see... It looks like this is going to be another bump system game. Let's find out. That's exactly what it is. to be a little more challenging owing to the fact that uh, there's no diagonal movement. That's going to make hitting enemies off center a little harder. But it looks like we'll hit level 2 in no time, so we'll do that. Wrap this first episode up. You know, I've always liked this treatment for the older Ace games with the framed order and everything. I just think it's a neat, interesting looking look that you just don't get. It really gives the feeling you're, in, you're part of the story. It's like three more to level up, two more. There's level two. Stuck back to town. We'll let our health recover. Save. 
And with that, we'll go ahead and wrap up this first episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, please like, subscribe, favorite, throw any feedback you may have in the comments below, as I always look forward to hearing from you. And we'll see you again next time on another new episode of Let's Play East Book 4. And we'll see what new adventures await us in this land of Kelsetta. Farewell. <laughs>